really Moby Dick. Like <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am your host and footman of the Fermata, Ken Levine. I'm a singer and vocal coach here on YouTube, and today we are looking at Justin Bieber and his live version of his song called Lonely. But before we do that, I just would like to remind you all to remember to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the great stuff we produce here every week on the channel. And if you're new, please write I subscribed down below in the comments and I will do my very best to respond to as many people as I possibly can. Now, uh, yes, we are going to dive into this song by Justin Bieber. And um, this is live from Saturday Night Live. <laughs> and uh, I don't know anything about the song, but here we go with the Biebs. Three, two, one, go. Oh, look, there's Baby Bieber right there. I guess it was what, from his first uh, Saturday Night Live appearance, The Wall of Fame. knows my name now, but something about it still feels strange. Like sitting in the mirror trying to steady yourself and seeing somebody else. And everything is not the same now. It feels like all our lives have changed. It's a bit pitchy. So, um, obviously he's uh, look at look at the look at the proximity of the microphone right to his mouth, and <clears throat> it's actually off axis, so he's not singing directly into it. Interesting. It's not easy to just sort of monologue like that on pitch and maintain pitch. Look at his posture. Not good. I mean, this is all about, I don't know what the song is. Obviously, it's called Lonely, so it's all about him being lonely. I'm thinking he could sing this better, but hes he doesn't care about that. It's about the emotion. He's trying to get into the emotion of the song. I'm older, it'll all calm down, but it's killing me now. Here we go. What if you had it all with nobody to call? Maybe then you know me. That's great. Okay. Cause I've had everything, but no one's listening. And that's just oh so lonely. I'm so lonely. Okay. It's a very emotive song, but all I can think of is Team America right now. Okay. Never mind. Bit of an aside. He's singing great. When he st stands up and goes into a fal falsetto, um, obviously he's got the in ears on, so it's a great way for him to monitor what it is that is being captured. Um, it's very difficult to do what he's doing and do it well. So I'm just saying, respect. And again, it's all about the raw emotion. Everybody knows my past now. Like my house was always made of glass. And maybe that's the price you pay for the money and fame at an early age. And everybody saw me sick. And it felt like no one gave a. They criticized the things I did as an idiot kid. What if you had it all with nobody to call? We're singing harmony. Maybe then you know me. Cause I've had everything, but no one's listening. And that's just oh so lonely. Okay, so there's some vocal harmonies that are coming through on my headphones on, on the left and the right. Nice stereo sound. Oh, He's really going for the whole digging into the the soul of the song right here and wrapping his hands around the microphone like that. It's it's interesting to me um, uh, how he's able to produce this, produce his sound. It sounds good. It sounds really good. I'm not going to say it's too good. I'm just saying it's really good. I'm so lonely. Nice long phrase. Bob Ross on the keyboard there. So lonely. 
So he's doing a, a vocal flip, which is essentially a yodel as he's going through his um, falsetto on this and landing squarely on the pitch right there. It sounds great. Um, I'm, I, I'm interested. It's, it's, a, it's a really, really emotional song. I want to go back a second here where he really sort of digs in. We'll get back to this. Fame at an early age. See how he's just sort of collapsing right down there? And you really, I mean, you get to the, that, that gritty edge of the voice, and, and it's just at the very last gasp of breath. Now, I'm, I'm listening to this and saying, on one hand, on one hand, you would say you'd never want to do that technically if you're singing classically. You run out of breath. That's, there's, a, there's a problem in the measurement of how you've, you're managing your breath. But in this instance, he's using it to really accentuate the pain that he's going through or the pain that, well, maybe not going through right now, but he's reliving. And everybody saw me sick And it felt like no one gave a they criticize the things I did as an idiot kid. Oh, Here we go. We got a vocal. What if you had it all with nobody to call? Maybe then you know me. So again, I don't know who the other vocalists are. Cause I've had everything, but no one's listening. And that's just oh so lonely. I'm so really feel a rasp in his voice coming through. I'm so low. He's really Moby Dick. Like Yeah, okay, there it is. Um yeah, a lot to dissect there uh, vocally, what's going on with his voice as he's making it through. You can feel the edge and the rasp come through like he's just given everything for that emotion to come through in that performance. Um, I'm fascinated uh, by Justin Bieber and his trajectory in his career as he's gone from, you know, the teen idol to something a little bit more mature, though I think he's kind of channeling a little bit of Drake. It's hard to feel sorry for a guy who you perceive to have it all, but maybe maybe that's not the full story here. And um, that's really interesting to sort of follow, like I said, follow the trajectory of uh, this vocalist and his career and where he's going and what he's going to do next. So now if you are a young singer and you are wondering what to do next and you're not entirely sure where to take your voice, I strongly suggest you reach out to a vocal coach. Now the best way is to coach one-on-one -on -one with someone local, someone in your area. But if that's not possible, you can reach out to one of us out here in YouTube lab. And there's lots of vocal coaches out here. If you want to work with me, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description. And yeah, of course, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell do all of that subscribey stuff and yeah if you've made it to the end of this video and i hope you got some value out of it thank you so much for watching we will see you next time was my past now like my house was always made of glass and maybe that's the price you pay for the money and fame at an early age and everybody saw me sick and it felt like no one gave a they criticize the things I did as an 